quick welcome to episode 81. In the last episode, we headed north from Yerevan and into the mountains, attempting unsuccessfully to exit the only open border from Armenia. In this episode, we have more success and continue our journey north, deep into the Caucasus. We are finally in Georgia! That was a bit of a slow process. <laughs> 48 hours, three different border uh, checkpoints. They, um, they weren't too keen on the Australian registration papers, but um, yeah, I guess... I mean, the little border guys were more adaptive to our paperwork, which yeah. is the big one was thankfully, so it you know, worked out. Uh, what was it, 180 k's I think we drove, but yeah. in saying that, I said to Jolly before, like I'm actually, in hindsight I'm glad it happened because that part of Romania is just incredible. Yeah, like we wouldn't have seen it otherwise yeah, and it was <laughs> it was really good. So, it worked out in the end. Yeah, so it's now 4 o'clock and we haven't had lunch, we're absolutely starving, so, and we're in a part of Georgia that we hadn't planned on being in um, today, so anyway, we're just going to drive to a restaurant have some a late lunch and just have a look at what the plan is. Yeah, and yeah, this is the view. driving about 80 kilometers yesterday um, to a village which I um, can't remember the name of it but there's a canyon nearby which we've come and camped at so there's this beautiful big canyon down here there's actually a little waterfall right down there um, it's a pretty modern suspension bridge which they're I think almost finished building and then a beautiful church over on the other hill um, and it was actually a religious holiday yesterday so when we arrived here, there's like this big pine forest here with all these little picnic areas. Um, so it was just full with families having like family barbecues sort of things. Um, and there was actually a few other local people camping like further into the pine trees. So that was pretty cool to see. Um, yeah, so we set up here yesterday afternoon and just opened a bottle of wine, celebrated getting into, into enjoyed, Georgia. Enjoyed the sunset. Yeah. Um, and then I also made a new dog friend who she's now napping next to the car. She's actually a really friendly dog, but her family decided to hang out next to the car. And keep us up all night barking, <laughs> which is fun. So note to self, don't make friends with dogs just before I go to bed, because <laughs> they'll stay next to the car and bark all night. Um, but yeah, so we're just about to pack up and we're gonna keep driving to Tbilisi, which is the capital, and we'll stay there for a few days just to get a few things sorted out and then continue on exploring this beautiful country. All right, let's go.
in Tbilisi, just getting some stuff sorted. The weather has just been glorious. It's been 35 every day, sunshine, and the weather up here though is supposed to be between zero and four degrees or so. It's gonna be a pretty welcome change. The other end of the scale, we're gonna to have to dig all our winter clothes back out of storage. We spend three days here just exploring the region before we head east. Previously when we were travelling, I promised Jolly I would make her a ring. Unfortunately there wasn't many tools and materials within reach at the time, so when we got home, under the guise of working weekends and overtime, I made her something she actually deserved. I also made this little video just so she would believe me I did it. Thankfully she liked it and agreed to wear it, which brings us here now to Kazbegi, where this cutaway will make more sense. which is this incredible place. And we've actually been staying in um, a hotel here for the last few nights, which is called Rooms Hotel. It's actually a converted um, old Soviet building. Um, so yeah, they've made it like a pretty cool like mountain lodge sort of hotel. And we thought that we would treat ourselves to um, staying here for a bit of a special occasion. So originally, um, when we were on the trip last time, we had planned to elope and then for a few reasons, we couldn't do it. Um, and then we went back home and um, just because of COVID, planning a wedding is almost impossible at the moment. So anyway, coming back on the trip, we thought, okay, let's let's do it again. Um, let's start planning to a low pier. So that's what we've done yesterday, actually. But um, today we are going to get back in the troopy, which we've been itching to do and actually start traveling properly again. Um, yeah, we're really excited to get back on the road. So we're actually just gonna go, um, there's a village just down the road called Juta. So we're gonna go there tonight and go for a hike and yeah, just start, start the trip again which is really exciting but this has been our incredible view for the last few days um, yeah no it's been a, a nice little treat Trinity Church and sat on the backdrop of the mighty Mount Kazbeg, it is one of Georgia's most iconic images. Although no documented information has been discovered about who or when the church was built, 
It is estimated to have survived the past 600 years and is now still an active Georgian Orthodox and Apostolic Church with one epic view. about eight kilometers past Juta and I found this spot to camp next to this creek. The water is crystal, crystal clear, but it looks pretty icy. I dared Mark to go in, but he wasn't really keen. Um, there is no one around except for this herd of cows and the, um, the shepherd on a, on a motorbike. So he's a little bit modern, um, but yeah, it's a very nice, peaceful spot to camp. So this is where we're at tonight. What? Oh yeah, and there's a big waterfall up here. I forgot about that. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I think when the sun hits that in the morning, it'll be really pretty to check it out. That's it. That's all I got. Stop it. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> With time commitments now out of the way, we can start to slow down a bit. Join us in the next episode where we start our zigzag across Georgia. Thanks for watching. See ya.